Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Saturday, May the 11th. It's the third week of the Easter season and week two of the Psalm cycle. And tomorrow, May the 12th, is the birthday of Brother Roger Schutz, founder and prior of the Taze community in France. The scripture for this service, Psalm 42, and Luke chapter 5, verse 27 to 39. Now join me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Nobis. Listen to God's voice today, and harden not your hearts. In the desert long ago, when our forebears provoked God. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, as the deer longs for running water, so my soul longs after you, O God. Alleluia. Psalm 42, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, as the deer longs for running water, so my soul longs after you, O God. My soul thirsts for you, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before you? My tears have been my food day and night, and while they continually say to me, Where is your God? And when I remember these things, I pour out my soul. For I had gone with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God with the voice of joy and praise, with the multitude that kept holy day. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall praise yet again the help of my countenance and my God. O my God, my soul is cast down within me, therefore I will remember you, from the land of Jordan and of the Hermonites, and from the hill of Mizar. Deep calls to deep at the noise of your water spouts. All your waves and your billows are gone over me. And yet you command your loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night your song shall be with me, and my prayer to you, the God of my life. I will say, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning? Because of the oppression of the enemy? With a sword in my bones, my enemies mock me, while they say to me, where is your God? Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall praise yet again the health of my countenance and my God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, as the deer longs for running water, so my soul longs after you. O oh God. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 5, beginning at verse 27. Jesus calls Levi. After this, Jesus went out and he saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax booth. And he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and he left everything and followed him. Then Levi gave a great banquet for him in his house, and there was a large crowd of tax collectors and others sitting at the table with them. The Pharisees and their scribes were complaining to his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus answered, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Then they said to him, John's disciples, like the disciples of the Pharisees, frequently fast and pray, but your disciples eat and drink. Jesus said to them, You cannot make wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them, can you? The days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away, and then they will fast in those days. He also told them a parable. 
No one tears a piece from a new garment and sews it onto an old garment. Otherwise the new will be torn, and the piece from the new will not match the old. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise the new wine will burst the skins and will be spilled, and the skins will be destroyed. But new wine must be put into fresh wineskins, and no one, after drinking old wine, desires new wine, but says, the old is good. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We long for you, O God, and we thirst for your presence. Shed your loving kindness upon us and be our help all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.